Chinese practitioners were not the only and may not have been the first to identify energy pathways in the body. We try to open your body first so that your energy can start flowing again. The frozen body of a man from about 3300 BC was recovered well preserved from the Alps. His body features tattoos that correspond to Chinese acupuncture's qi meridians. But regardless of its origins, the Eastern practice of acupuncture finally hit the United States primarily because of an article written in the New York Times. Few understand the history and its implications to Western medicine better than Dr. Richard Hammerschlag. The history of acupuncture in the United States um, in large part can be traced to uh, a fortuitous appendectomy in uh, Beijing um, that happened to a New York Times reporter in 1971. Reporter James Reston published in the New York Times an article titled, Let Me Tell You About My Operation in Peking. He described how acupuncture helped with his post-operative pain and he was amazed with the results. Different mountains, but this, one... this newfound American interest prompted extensive research into acupuncture's effectiveness and an attempt to define the underlying concept of qi in Western terms. This presented numerous challenges, as the word qi runs deeply through not only Chinese medicine, but through Chinese art, literature, philosophy, pugilism, and daily life. How they ever came upon this is a matter of great speculation, but um, instead of um, discrete guts and glands and a stomach and a kidney and intestine, they see um, meridians of flow of energy through the body. And when that energy gets stuck or stagnant, that's when imbalances and illness occurs. According to traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM, a vital energy called qi flows through the body along channels called meridians. Think of these channels as a sprinkling system for the body, bringing qi to vital organs and extremities in much the way hoses bring water to your garden. In the TCM model of health and disease, when qi flow is blocked, the stagnating qi causes illness. Acupuncture therapy unblocks the qi flow, strengthens or weakens the qi, think opening and closing the garden spigot, and directs it to areas of need. And the whole um, essence and why Chinese medicine has so much to contribute uh, essentially and eventually to an integrative medicine is because of their ability to detect imbalances and illnesses before they get to be Western signs and symptoms. So that if you can correct those imbalances early, um, then you're so much ahead of the game in terms of healthcare. In attempting to define and quantify qi, acupuncture research may even end up identifying a whole new system of biological information, such as the conduction of impulses through the body's connective tissue. From a Western point of view, we look at it a little bit differently of what's going on. We would say that there are uh, acupuncture points on the body. When you put a needle into that, we start to stimulate a nerve is activated, spinal cord up to the brain, and we start to stimulate a whole host of neurochemicals from endorphin, substance P, um, anti-inflammatory uh, you know, chemicals are start to release. So it starts to have effects not just locally, but also in a, uh, systemically in the body. Sometimes you can heal someone with a gentle nudge, and maybe that's all they need. And um, I think there's a place for, for acupuncture in that respect. And I think that possibly may be how acupuncture might be, have a place in, in, Western, in, in our Western world. My observation is that when people are suffering, they will look and ask around to their friends and colleagues and family members about what has helped them. So that's generally how we often will have referrals. Next, I'm going to put the needle in both of your hands. So you don't, what you don't want is the patient to say, okay, I either go to the acupuncturist here 
or I go to the doctor over here and never the twain should meet. You know, the, the whole point for our center coming together is to have it where people are working together on what's best for that patient. And, you know, and we're saying, look, it's not for everything. This is not, you know, the panacea for, for everything, but let's see how it goes. And here's some evidence that, you know, why this might be. You feel okay with the needles? Yes, they feel fine. Okay, great.